Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tier Lists. It is Wednesday, therefore it's another Tier List day. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, our next Tier List, the live-action Batman movies. There have been quite a bit. This many, to be exact, as live-action Batman movies. So, without further ado, let's begin with the 1966 Adam West one, which is a meh movie. It's cheesy to a point where, of course it is, it's the 60s, of course it's going to be a cheesy thing. The 60s were weird for Batman, so I have to put in meh, but, but it's not a bad movie. It's not. It's far from a bad movie. As, well, it's an Adam West Batman movie. Not bad. You know what? I'll move it up to good. Should I? Nah, I'll put it in bad. Because up next we got Batman from 1989, the Tim Burton film, which is an I Love It movie. Oh, by the way, our categories are I Love It, Good, Meh, Bad, and Complete Shit. So... I love the Tim Burton Batman movie, the first one, because it's, what it says is, a Batman movie. Jack Nicholson is a great Joker, and Michael Keaton's a great Batman. However, he's better as Bruce Wayne. Anyway, Michael Keaton does a great performance. Jack Nicholson, great performance. And they're compliment, they complement each other. In this film. Their styles mesh perfectly. Up next we got Batman Returns. Which is a good movie. It's solid. It's not the best. Nowhere near. But it's still a good movie. And I say this because. It does. It's ma It's kind of like a Christmas movie. Batman Returns. However. Because it takes place around Christmas time. And you guys won't shut up about. Movies that take place in Christmas time, around Christmas time, being Christmas movies. Y'all won't shut up about that, seriously. So technically, it's a Christmas movie. That has almost nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> Besides taking place around Christmas time like Die Hard. Grow up. Anyway, Batman Returns is a pretty good movie. It's pretty good. It has Danny DeVito in it as the Penguin. That's funny. He bites someone's nose. Rated PG. <laughs> Up next, we got Batman Forever, which is a bad movie. Sure, it's more iconic, so you'd think it'd go to meh, but no. I'm ruthless. It's bad. Sure, we got Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones, and we got v as their respective characters. Tommy Lee Jones, we could have played a better Joker. Same with Jim Carrey, but they played Two Face and the Riddler. Jim Carrey playing Riddler, John Tommy Lee Jones playing the Two Face. We got Chris O'Donnell, remember when he was popular, at playing Robin. And then you got Val Kilmer in one of the worst portrayals of Batman of all time. His mouth hangs open throughout half of this movie. Does he ever close it? How much drool comes out of that mouth? We will never know. Up next, we got Batman and Robin, which is a complete shit movie. It is shit. It's shit, and it will always be shit. Nothing can be worse. No Batman movie can be worse than this. In my opinion. Chris O'Donnell returned as Robin. Which is basically where his career technically died. Arnold played Mr. Freeze. I don't know how much they paid him. But it was probably a lot. And you got George Clooney as Batman. And yes he is the second worst guy to portray the character. But he's in the worst Batman movie of all time. You also got Batgirl, um, Poison Ivy, and a retarded Bane in this movie. Why was Bane retarded? Why was he stupid? No one knows. But other than they, the director hates us. Up next, we got Batman Begins, which is a great movie. I liked Batman Begins. I liked it. 
It was a fun movie. Start of one of my favorite trilogies of all time. So yes, it's a good movie. It's a good watch. Batman Begins, of course, tells you the origin of Batman. And it's a much darker thing. Ray Shaw Ghoul is in there playing played by Liam Neeson. You got Batman being portrayed by Christian Bale, which is my favorite Batman to this day. And and finally, Scarecrow, who was done very dirty in this trilogy. Up next, we got The Dark Knight, which, I mean, it's the perfect Batman movie. Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker. Christian Bale's Batman. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention Morgan Freeman as Lucius Fox. Brilliant. things. Brilliant things. This is a perfect movie. My second favorite movie of all time. Just behind Logan. And yeah. Solidifies as Batman being one of my favorite characters of all time. The Dark Knight Rises is good. Not better than Begins. But still a good movie. Dark Knight Rises does have a bit of a downplay. As it does the Batman. Like it's. Stupid moment is when Batman fakes his own death. That's a bit of a dumb moment, but other than that, the rest of the film's good. Bane comes back, this time played by Tom Hardy, and he breaks the bat. He actually does what he says he's going to do. He breaks the bat. Batman versus Superman. This Batman's name is in the title. It counts. We'll put it at meh. Just below the 1966 Batman movie. Sierra is here. That's why you see all the on the phone. That's why you hear all those noises. Um, Batman and Superman. It tries to be too much. It has great action, great actors, but with Ben Affleck portraying Batman. But yeah, it's just meh. It has stupid moments and has great moments. Not good, but not bad. So, meh. Then we get to the 2017 Justice League movie, which we're going to have to add a robe a below. Make it sky blue. No. And go. Don't count. Because it's not a Batman movie. It's a team-up movie. Whoever made this damn tier list is a dumbass. This is not a Batman movie. It don't count. Does it have Batman in it? Yes. But it's not a Batman movie. He just finds all the other Justice League members. It's not a full-fledged Batman movie. It don't count. It doesn't. I don't care what you guys say. It's not a Batman movie. It's a Justice League movie. Same with the Snyder Cut. It doesn't count. If it if Batman's name isn't in the title of the film, it don't count. <laughs> anyway, we got the 2022 Batman movie, The Batman with Robert Pattinson. And it's good. That That's it. It's good. In the top four, but it's good. Made it to the top four. My only complaint is that it's too long. If you're going to tell a solo superhero flick, it's got to be at least under two and a half hours. If you're almost three hours long, that's too long of a solo superhero film. That's my only complaint is that it's too long. So, at least Avengers Endgame had a reason to be long. This has no reason to be. Same with the Snyder Cut. It had a reason to be. This doesn't. And plus, we're supposed to... We had a skinny Batman. We had a skinny Batman with Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I mean, he didn't do a bad job. It's just not... He's in the middle. He's not my favorite. All right? He's not. Anyway, that is my Batman movie tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you disagree and you, and you want to move some stuff around, put it in the comments what you'd move. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.